Hey, Keith here. Coming live from Lake Hollingsworth. So, let's get back on track here. Real quick, um, one hour, 17 pace, 17 miles an hour, obviously, it's like 17.3. Um, side still a little tender. I don't know if it was from the cough I had or, or what the dealio is, but I'm working through that. Um, you know, no pain, no gain. Um, more importantly, two weeks ago, I completed my first Ironman. Um, family had a few questions, so I'll go through those real quick. Um, first one was, did I like the course? And if I did like the course, what was my favorite part about it? I would say, yes, I like the course. Uh, number two, I actually enjoy the swim. The swim was my favorite part. It was an M, so I got to actually uh, swim an M, and I was pretty uh, excited about the M. It was a little confusing at first, but I worked through it. Um, second question from the family is, I had five surgeries, um, you know, over the past five years. So how did it feel to cross the finish line after, you know, going through all those hurdles and stuff? I would say, I, I can't put in words. It was a uh, very emotional say the least. Of course, it was emotional to finish an Ironman, a half, you know, 70.3. But on top of everything else I've been through with my surgeries and training and stop training and surgery and, and so on and so forth, um, as far as that part goes, um, it's just, I don't have any words to express, you know, how I feel. Um, another question they had was the temperature. How was the temperature? It was about 85, felt like it was 95. It was definitely um, a challenge, a challenge uh, temperature. Um, so, more videos to come. Sorry this one was a little lengthy, I just had to get that out of the way. You know, Ironman Hayden City, 2019, April 14th, 70.3. Last question, I almost forgot. What was my time and what time would I have liked? The family was wanting to know. I wanted a sub six, ended up with a sub seven. Um, would have had a six and a half, but spent about 30 minutes in transition. So you live and learn when you transition. So. I will definitely speed that up come November for my full Ironman, 140 miles, uh, point one. So I'll definitely speed up the transition during that time because I know that's going to count from overall time. So you live and learn. It was a learning experience. I was very thankful. I was just grateful that I get to come out and do this and train and have a great time doing it. I'm very thankful. A lot of people can't even get out and do what the triathletes do. So kudos to all you guys training out there. So once again, please hit the like button. Thank you for watching. And any comments down below is helpful. And happy training.